Hey guys, this is Alex Greenlee here with Dark Rider Productions again, and today we're going to do another tutorial, uh, this time in Final Cut Pro 7 and color. Uh, we're going to be working with advanced color correction settings with Magic Bullet Mojo and uh, color, which is a product coming with Final Cut, um, a color corrector. So, shall we get started? Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and import our footage from my desktop. There we go. Footage. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drag the footage down to our timeline. And we're going to want to say okay to that. Alright, so now we have the clip or the clips here in our windows. Alright, this is what we want. So really quickly, I'm going to separate the, qu uh, the clips. So if we go here with a razor blade tool and cut it right about. So let's go ahead and double click our uh, clip to bring up its color corrector. We're going to want to go into filters, right? Effects. And if you have Mojo, uh, this is a part of the tutorial in which we use that. So Mojo. And that'll already add a uh, pre-set to the effect. So it'll add a mojo kind of a blockbuster looking um, effect to the clip. So over here in these panels, we can adjust whether or not how much we want that uh, look. For this project, this is the clip from the Blood Blade um, trailer that I just did. We're going to want a very uh, blockbuster oriented look uh, with a lot of blues, not so much orange. Oranges. Uh, that looks okay. Uh, we're going to want to then bring down that and punch it. And it kind of gives a filmic look with the colors brought out and of course we have to render so you're going to want to do command R for render okay so it's rendered and we can play it back and look and see and it is okay so now we're going to want to open up this clip and for, uh, for this clip right here I'm gonna want to bring this into color so we're gonna click on the clip we're gonna want to go up to file send to and color we're gonna want to rename this as color test and hit OK All right. So this is color pretty much. It's a lot better than the three-way color corrector that's built into Final Cut. This allows you to really get into the nooks and crannies and get that um, precise feel that you are looking for into your film. So I'm just going to deal with the basics today. We will do a more advanced tutorial some other time. But pretty much um, the shadows and blockbuster film looks would be... Um, more of a, a blue into the blues that's pretty much where the shadows are and the highlights are always orange 
So you can play around with this uh, to get that effect. A bit of that. Uh, not too much. A little bit goes a long way. And the highlights, of course, are going to be orange. So this is our basic blockbuster look. Then you can start getting into more specifics. If you want a grainier kind of look such as that, or more of a, a suppressed look, I'm going to go with this for now. Maybe a colder feel. You can work with all of these to darken your um, film or primary. So we're going to want to do contrast on certain levels like that. could give you an indie film look. This could give you, that looks more normal, more of a bluer kind of feel to the film. And of course we could darken that or lighten it. Uh, darkening it helps sometimes. Uh, not too much though. Um, so we can go over here and play with these panel panels. Uh, so store and then the render queue. If you want to render this image, uh, we can go over to here. And pretty much you just hit click start render. And it should export automatically to Final Cut. Okay, so you can do quite a bit with uh, this. Um, as you can see in this image, if we went back to Mojo, it's not as precise in what it does compared to color um, because it's not built for that. Um, so if I were to do a warmer film look with this, it would be it would look a lot different than it would with color, because color is more precise and allows you to get in there and uh, fix up everything. And see, it starts to look pretty good. So, okay, guys, that kind of wraps up our tutorial for today. Um, I'm going to put a few example clips of what color correction does um, and letterbox. So, stay tuned. Charles the Game. Really? No buck, no game. Dad, the greatest buck.